Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the Sunrisers and Durban and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you his insights on the pitch and the venue and how you can make the best possible base team based on those assumptions. Nikhil Bhai, how are you doing and what are your thoughts in this, on this game? Just doing about fine. We record a few videos, that is a different debate but thankfully one good Durban game. Hopefully another one coming very soon and... Uh, Games so they go batting has been tough right around the world. So let's see how this one goes. Yes, will be interesting to see how this game goes. First up, let's look at the venue conditions. So the game's gonna be played at the Sunrisers home, and I don't know how to pronounce the venue name correctly, but what I know about this venue is that there is some early help and movement that we've seen here, especially for the likes of Marco Jansen. And we don't expect any different in this game. So probably the uh, fantasy value will be with the middle order batters as well as your opening bowlers. Nikhil Bhai, any thoughts on how that impacts Kyle Mears and if he's just going to bowl three overs because of that early movement or he sticks to one or two? He could potentially bowl all four as well in the power play and uh, wouldn't be surprised if he does that while bowling first. When we saw the last game, that uh, uh, Pretoria played versus the uh, Durban. He got a lot of movement in the first over, which I don't think we've seen so much movement in the first over. So, under the lights, there's a little ball move. So, I expect the batting to be difficult right through. But, in the night games, we've seen one thing very well. It's that in the starting, it is harder to time the ball and you know, get it to a pass goal. But in the chase, the ball is still coming onto the bat better. And because the target is known, you are able to pace your innings much better. So, I think that is something that will continue. Chasing might be better if you do very well while bowling first. So I think that is something where team might look to be more aggressive if they are bowling first. Yes, pretty much possible. And on that note of Nikhil Bhai mentioning swing, there was also a stat that the broadcaster showed where across venues and across bowlers that have bowled in the South Africa T20, he has double the amount of best swing that you see across bowlers. So he had, I guess, 3.5 degrees, while the next best was only 1.6 degrees. So, so that tell you how much he's swinging it. So let's see if he's actually going to feature in our team as captain, vice captain, and let's get to it. So, first up, we start with the keeping section and we have gone with Quinton, Quinton de Kock here. Adam Rossington, like you all know, plays shot after shot and Jordan Cox batting in the middle order. So, not too sure on whether you want to go with anyone else. In the batting, we have gone with Makram. Again, good middle order value. Can open the bowling against de Kock Mayors because they are he's going to get some good off spin. And Kyle Mayors, like we spoke about, Tristan Stubbs, middle order batting will be very good value. Jordan Herman is a slight 50-50 call because of the venue conditions, but based on form, he's still a good pick. And because of the fact that we know that Durban spreads across their bowlers, we feel like the, in terms of opportunity and fantasy value, he becomes a good choice. Nikhil, by any thoughts on whether you'd want to go with Yonker or Sarah Lovey or are you happy to stray away from those picks? Yeah, I think Abhi Kili, my confusion is only between Stubbs and Klaasen. Hmm. Uh, Klaasen again has consistently done well. So, hmm. wo unko eventually shayad mein mein team mein uh, the debate is between him and Mayer. Also, if you want to see like that, because if Mayer is not swing the ball, if he is not swinging the swing ball, and he is batting first, so if I think that he will be out of the way, then Klaasen is a very good option to try. Stubbs ko abhi iske liye liya ke, I am expecting Mayers to do something with the ball in this very game. And uh, Stubbs, because he is more aggressive khel rahe, and he has looked good also in whatever little I have seen of him. So, that's a 50-50 call up. Jordan Herman, ke badde B, you can take Klaasen. So, I think Klaasen hmm. is the only guy that you can possibly debate on. Usually, we don't take 4 people in batting, mein lete, but here we have all-rounder, two all-rounder actually. Makram Mayers, both are all-rounders. So, that is something that you can take a call up. Eventually, I still think Stubbs, Herman, or Klaasen may have a two players in Yes, pretty much possible. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Marco Janssen, who is going to be very important at this kind of venue with his opening yeah. bowling. And Dwayne Pretorius for middle-order batting value and hopefully some bowling if he, they plan to use that. And then in the bowling, we have gone with Magala. He'll bowl two overs in the power play and two at the depth. So that's the perfect kind of 
a bowler that you expect to have in your team. Reese Topley, who's again going to play a similar role. Keshav Maharaj, who should be right in the game for Durban because Sunrisers have a line of right-handers. So, if Maharaj does not bowl against this team, then you're not going to see him bowl too much otherwise too. And Roloff Vandermover, who again is going to be bowling to a line of middle-order right, uh, right-hand right batters. So, if you see that Mayors Dikog go out early, then Vandermover should have a full quota here too. Bilkul, we all remember what happened in the last game when Sunrisers batted. So, again, the thing with these two sides are now there are evident weaknesses for people to target. Hmm. So, I'm sure the teams will also be looking at ways to counter this. Maybe you will see random promotions also happening for somebody like a holder or a, a Pretorius, which they tried in the previous encounter as well in one of the previous games, but to not chala. So that is something that I'm very interested to see. But otherwise, I think these are all the base options that you will possibly try in most of your sites. Keshav Maharaj, even while defending 80, he found a way to take one wicket. Hmm. So that just tells you the quality of the guy and again, the kind of cricket that is happening everywhere. So that's a little luck by chance. Hai waise. So I think these are possibly your key combinations. Again, there are enough options for you to try out. Like if Sunrise is playing bowling before, Cars ko le sakte ho. He played the last game, bowled well, bowled in crucial stages. So, you can also take them. So, you have in this game mein options will be So, I will say that this is still a decent game to try out for small leagues and mini jails. Purely from the aspect that there are so many bowling options, hai, you could still survive if only one player is not doing everything. Hmm. So, as long as the wickets are distributed, as we talked about earlier, you can play with small leagues mini jails. Khel sakte ho. Uh, risk level high bilkul rahega kyunki darban ka game so darban ko yes. pasand aayega agar maine risk level medium rakha to so, yes yes risk level always high especially when durban is in the fray and now let's look at the grand league options for this one So, Grand League options for this game and I think first up I'm going with Jason Holder. He got promoted in the batting in the last game and he bowled ahead of Pretorius in the last one and we see we go they go odd even. They play two, they bowl two over two games, they'll bowl more Holder than two games, they'll bowl more Pretorius. So, this is the game where he should be bowling more. So, and the first, ga- first pick here is uh, Jason Holder and uh, the second pick is Bryden Kass. He looked very good in the last game and uh, death over wickets are possible with him. So, hence, I'm opting for him because along with Magala, mm-hmm. he'll be the death bowler for them probably. So, that is the one pick on there. But, uh, okay, no issue nahi hai. Uh, there are plenty of options for us to try. So, from the Durban side, again, uh, I think Reese Topley can have a very good game. Uh, there are enough weaknesses that we've seen in the opening batters especially while bowling first also for england also he's done very well in the recent time so i think wo aapke liye hamesha ek kafi achhi option rahenge in whichever sense you want to take it from uh, sunrisers again aap dekho to most of the guys have come in and done something be it yansen be it stubs uh, for everybody but now i don't know how to put one pick here so I'll probably skip that one and say take Kyle Mears as another option and make him in Grand League because uske alawa, there is not much that the, there's not much differential option that you can try and say that this person will be good. If Batman is then I definitely will take a punt leta because he's done well in the past as well but he did not play the last game uh, if I'm right. So that is yeah, the I one think. yeah so that's the one keep it gone out of there and then Janssen to ke bas hai. so I think in that sense so the Batman, one pick and the other pick is the East Office. So two bowlers again. Yes, so bowlers, early movement, middle order batting should be the way to go for yeah. you in this game. And Nikhil Bhai, tell us what is the way for us to win a jersey in this for, through this preview. Absolutely. So I have seen a little bit of content. I have seen a little smart giri I have seen a grand league pick. Mein Kyle Mays diye, because that is the way to win the jersey. So all you have to do is tell us how many points will Kyle Mayers give in the entire game? Or many points, example, likha hai, 148. So, dekho, Grand League ki manifestation, visualization may hi karao, bethi, bethi. So, agar ye ho jata hai, to well and good. So, of course, no multiple edited comments allowed. Ek comment karna, deadline ke pehle. 
and uh, yes, how many points will Kyle Mays give in the entire game? So both with bat and ball will do good. Entire game. Yes, and give the points only. Yes, and only his base points. I said, "Bolna, my team was captain. So 74 was, but I got 148. Only, only his base fantasy points without him being captain or vice captain. Yes, just time. Is like that. Everything you have to clear. Tell me, bolna is better. So yes, that's what it is. Good luck for the jersey. Yes. So ensure all of you have a good game. Participate in the jersey giveaway. Tell us in the comments what you feel about Kyle Mayer's points. Smash the like button and hit the subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great game. Yes, please share the content if you like it. Cheers.